Hey, Shug. Welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. So, we're here to do Gemini's reading for the first half of February. Okay. It's for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And like I told the other signs, Venus is the planet that rules money and love. So, you definitely want to check out your Venus. Okay. Um, my rising sign matches, I, I think, resonates more so with my sun sign. But lately... My moon sign, because it regulates you, like, your emotions. It's been hitting. So, check them all out. Check them all out so you can get a full message. All your placements. For Gemini. I'm a Gemini, so I'm extra hype <laughs> about this reading. For the first part of February, Gemini's, I feel like January just hasn't been our month. Okay, I'm doing a six-card spread. Your energy... Your person's energy or the person that's around you. You don't even see them coming. The energy of your connection. What you need to know. Advice and potential outcome. For Gemini. Okay. Gemini, your overall energy. Ooh. Tennis. swords, Bastards. With the three of swords right behind that, somebody hurts you. Mm, moon energy. Ooh, magician. They were playing mind games. Dang. Listen, Jimmy. Your energy. Ten of Pentacles. You're thinking long term. Right? You want the long haul. You don't have time for games. Your person's energy. The lovers. How they gonna have your energy though? Gemini. Okay. Energy of the connection. Eight of Pentacles. It's a work in progress. It's coming together. Maybe. We'll clarify and see. Hmm. She feels stabbed in the back. What you need to know. King of Wands. Could be dealing with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Or they could have that in their chart. But this king of wands is what you need to know. <laughs> All right. Advice from spirit. Will of fortune. Moving forward in a lucky way. Okay. Advice from spirit is saying to move forward, right? That you um, have some, that if you move forward, when you move forward, luck is on your side. And potential outcome. The Hierophant. Wow. It be spiritual alignment. Spiritual groundedness, or it can be commitment. We'll see. Mm. Somebody stabs you in the back. I right, listen. Don't make me. Don't make me fight them. <laughs> no, non-violence, non-violence. Definitely non-violence. I'm gonna hit you all day. Okay, <laughs> non-violence. Okay, so, for Gemini, first part of February, what's going on with you, Jimmy? Gemini. I got some new decks, so I'm going to share them with y'all today. Okay, for Gemini, we have the Ten of Swords here as the overall energy. Why is this Ten of Swords here? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Six of Pentacles. Equal give and take. Okay. It's about investment. It's about balance. Balance. Okay. I also have the High Priestess, the Eight of Swords, and the Strength card. Okay. Someone might have been like, um, maybe holding secrets, keeping things from you. Okay. Um, holding things back. Okay. Um, that's just energy that's coming through. Right. Maybe even having like a little bit of an ego there with the Emperor Spirit. All right. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Look. Look. All right. Seven of Cups. Confusion. Right. Um, you also have the Four of Wands. Maybe confusion about commitment. Like if someone was going to invest, meet you halfway. Like, like what are we gonna do here? With this strength card and the um eight of swords. Like someone having the courage to bring themselves out of 
um, self-imposed restriction. Okay. This ten of swords energy is about equal give and take, confusion about commitment. Like, where are we going from here? Mm -hmm. Because your energy, Gemini, is the ten of pentacles. You want forever. Okay. You want the long haul. You want family. Okay. You want um, stability. Okay. Why is the ten of pentacles here for Gemini? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Gemini? First part of February. This is your energy. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the Tower. Okay. So, Two of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Someone might have been going back and forth with, um, bring, I feel like bringing something out into the open. Okay. Or even like going back and forth with whether something, um, I feel like, I feel like it could be success, okay, victory, achievement, right? But I feel like something was going, someone was going back and forth with whether to bring something out, okay? But with the tower energy here, um, this is a shakeup, okay? So this can be your energy, it can be your person's energy. Now, if you are given a lover's energy, and I say this is your person's energy, and this person is having a um, shakeup in their foundation as far as like a ten of pentacles, like home, their home, they could have a family. Um, so this tower energy is saying that something is crumbling, okay, or something is is coming down because it was not built on a solid foundation, okay. Four swords and the hierophant on the bottom. Someone's healing from a commitment, okay, that they walked away from. This could be you, Gemini. Someone is healing from a commitment that they walked away from, all right, and they're fearful. Okay, they're fearful. Clarify this Ten of Pentacles. That's what I feel like this, that's what this tower is, okay? Someone is taking a step back from it, from a commitment because they had a commitment that fell down. All right, you have the devil energy on the bottom. You have the six of cups, the ten of wands, the eight of wands, and the three of cups. Okay, I feel like someone wants to reconnect with you, Gemini. Um, maybe they have done some healing. Maybe this uh, tower coming down is something that may have happened in the past. I'm um, gonna need a healing from that. Um, but they want to reconnect with you, maybe here with this. Uh, Six of Cups energy, but it's very difficult, they feel like. Um, I feel like they think it's very difficult because they're thinking everything negative. Um, this devil energy in the in the two of cups. They're thinking of everything possible that everything negative possibly that can be negative, right? Um, and the eight of wands and the three of cups. This person's gonna communicate something with you here in the first part of February about how they want to come together. But you're confused about this decision because you've been stabbed in the back. All right? Now, maybe this lover's energy is you. Let's clarify this lover's energy. Why is the lover's here? Why is the lover's here? Apply the rules how they fit. Why is the lover's here? Why is the lovers here? <laughs> the lovers. <laughs> okay, again. Someone definitely needs to make a decision, okay? With the strength card here and the knight of cups. It's like someone needs to make a decision um, about this connection and whether they want to put, you know, put in the work on it. Like whether they want to um, take action towards it. Okay, the, the same cause, right? They need to, they build in clarity or they need to build clarity, all right? I feel like here in the first part of February, someone is gaining clarity about this connection, what it is, all right? And they are making a decision here, all right? Yeah. Gaining clarity, okay, and in the cycle of the back and forth, okay, and in the cycle. And there's someone gaining clarity about what type of connection this is. So this could be you. This could be you. Apply high fits. Okay. Someone's gaining uh, clarity here. 
clarify this eight of pentacles why is the eight of pentacles here is the connection energy of the connection all right okay um so someone you guys are definitely seeing the ten of cups here okay this is the opportunity of true love right but with the three of swords here and the strength card all right someone has to be courageous all right in order to like get over this heartache right um it's going to take a lot to get over the heartache all right um yeah um, the death energy and the ace of cups, someone um, could be ending a long-term commitment here. Something that they thought was going to be happy for, or forever after. Happy ever after. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like someone is going to come in with an apology here of the uh, page of cups. Yeah. For the eight of swords. Apology for holding themselves back. Okay. So someone has to have courage in order to put in the energy of this connection. Okay, that will heal the heartache. Clarify this Eight of Pentacles is the energy of the connection. Someone has to put in the has to have courage to put in the work. Right. Because they're holding back out of fear. All right, holding back out of fear. All right, and it's time to move on from that with the wheel of fortune. Okay, someone has to boss up. They got to move on from that. It could be dealing with Aries, okay? You also have the King of Wands down here. That's Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Why is this the card as what you need to know, Jimmy? Why do you need to know this King of Wands? Okay. Um, the High Priestess with the Hierophant. All right. I feel like this person is holding something back from you about a commitment, Okay. Um, what you need to know is that whoever this person is, they are holding back um, something about a commitment um, that they, you know, need to walk away from or have walked away from. Um, but that's the reason for them blocking, okay? Um, they could be also, yeah, it's blocking it, the new beginning, Okay? That's what they're holding back from you. They're holding that information back from you. That's what you need to know. That they were in maybe in a, a, a long-term commitment that they need to walk away from. Okay? What do you else do you need to know, Jimmy? Why is this King of Wands here? Why is this King of Wands here? King of Wands. Six of Swords, okay? They could be also you trying to, like, listen to their intuition. They could be, like, getting, um, having dreams or spirit could be talking to them, like, you know, in their quiet time or something like that about moving on, you know, and becoming single, you know, like, what their future will look like because I feel like this person is stressing a lot about what the future will look like, okay? Clarify this King of Wands. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, you know, with the um, Knight of Swords and the Star Energy, okay, this is someone desiring more, okay, for the future. And they're going to probably, like, rush in with this communication, all right? Maybe because they've been using their intuition, they've been listening to their intuition. They're going to come in and rush in with this communication about what, you know, what they desire for the future. Clarify this will of fortune. This is your advice from spirit. Okay, Jimmy? Your advice from spirit is to move forward. <laughs> That's what that is. Because it's time to. It's a divine um, timing card. Okay? King and queen of cups. These are the, the king and the queen of love. This is the king and queen of love. Okay? The spirit is saying move forward with this connection. All right? Make the final decision. All right? That's what the spirit is saying. I didn't say it. Spirit said it. Okay? With a fortune. <laughs> Take a leap of faith. Okay? There's balance here. This this is protection. Okay? Um, you have an offer that's going to come in. 
you can give to this, all right? Um, Sagittarius energy, you also have Aries, a lot of fire energy here. What else for this Wheel of Fortune? You might um, be like questioning it, like, you know, we're doing like, oh, 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 no, right? But with this Ace of Wands and this Five of Cups and the Nine of Cups, it's like this is your wish fulfilled, all right? This heals you from that past disappointment, okay? This is a new opportunity. This is a start over. So do over, okay? And if you move forward, okay, and not keep yourself from this happiness, all right? You can have the hierophant here. Potential outcome. Which is definitely, you know, a plus from the overall energy that you have now, right now, okay? This hierophant is given. Two of Wands judgment, okay? Choosing the path forward. Making that final decision, all right? Coming out of hangman mode, okay? Releasing, uh, seeing things differently and removing stagnation. Hierophant, why is this here for Gemini? In the first path, I mean, first part <laughs> of February. Yeah, this is just, yeah, 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 <laughs> Okay, this is the right thing to do. Okay, this is just, this is just this, all right? Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords could be dealing with a earth sign, Okay. The sun card here. This is happiness. Alright? I feel like you guys have your backs turned to each other. Gender is not specific. Okay? Because your person can be coming off with feminine energy. It's just the energy. Alright? And this is more so like an energy of love, but also stability. Okay? Um, so, this is happiness here. Alright? And it's like you know. It's <laughs> like you know. You have the information you need. Okay? You can make that final decision here. So let's get you a Wisdom of the Oracle. All right. And sing it on your way. I did good for you too. Got 17 minutes. Be 17 minutes in. For Gemini. First part of February. Look at that. Flexible. Fell out. I can do it. For Jimmy, what message do you have for my Gemini's? In the first part of February, spirit. What message do you have for Gemini? You got two. You got truth be told, which is number 14, which reduces to a five. That's about change. And milk and honey, okay, which is 51 and reduces to a six. That's about balance. Bottom of the deck, happy, happy, which is 26. It reduces to an eight. It's about putting in the work. Okay, Jim, let's read 14. It says, honesty, accepting things at face value, coming out of denial, the willingness to be transparent, clarity of communication. Okay, so I definitely feel like you're getting some communication here. <laughs> All right. I'm going to give my granny glasses on. All right. It says, people tell you who they are very quickly if you're willing to listen to what they say and pay attention to how they behave. This card calls you to engage in heartfelt, open conversation. It's time to see the truth about what you share with each other and tell the truth about who you are and what you need. Okay. No one can do that for you. Remember that your truth is always based in your personality and experience up till now. A higher truth will be found after you communicate honestly and see how doing so 
has helped you become more in tune to yourself. Don't hold back. Speak your truth. And listen. Listen. Oh. And milk and honey. Don't hold back. Say what you got to say. Speak your mind. Okay? That's what Spirit is saying. Card number 51. Milk and honey. It says the taste of prosperity. Opportunities born of authenticity. Nurturing abundance. Trusting that your needs will be met. Okay? You can say what you guys say. You trust. Your needs will be met. Sensuality, connection, and passionate romance between lovers. Sweet moments of understanding and love among friends and family are all here for you to savor now. Your heart's calling will be answered. Let your thoughts and feelings be sweet with gratitude, and you will be nourished with the honey of abundance. Okay? You will be happy, happy. I ain't say it. Said. Now, let's see because oh, we got 21 minutes, but y'all my Gemini's. So, I have my new deck. Oh, I was so psyched when I came when it came in the mail. I was so happy. I was so happy. All right, so let's see what your person want to say to you, okay? Because someone is definitely taking a leap of faith. All right, we have the outcome as the harvest. Why is I mean, what message do you have for Gemini in the first part of February? What do, does that person want to say to them? Ooh. It says, I'm having my doubts. Okay. And on the bottom it says, it says, Decker says, I can't let you go. Ooh. It says, expect the message. You make me happy. Okay. You're going to get a message, Gemini. First part of February. You don't get a message. I ain't said it. Spirit said it. But that's what I have for you, Gemini. I hope this helped. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. I miss you guys already. Bye. <laughs>